Hello everyone. In our today's lecture, we are going to start with the next point from the topic biodiversity conservation and environmental issue. The biodiversity occurrence scenario. So related with this point, especially all over the world, near about 1,000 million species of species are documented as per IUCN. How many? 1.5. One point five million number of number of species are documented all over the world, and this data is from IUCN two thousand four. Okay, near about how many species are there? How many million number of species? These are 1.5 million number of species are documented uh, all over the earth uh, according to, to uh, IUCN uh, data 2004. But Robert May, according to Robert May, he, according to him, near about 7 million near about, sorry, near about 7 million species. Species are present on Earth and this is according to Robert May. So, uh, to current, to, uh, to explain a current scenario of biodiversity uh, in India as well as in all over the world, uh, it is explained with the help of pie chart. So related with this, the first one is a known species of organisms. If you can see, we consider this first pie chart here, uh, listen everyone first of all, uh, as compared with the plants, the number of animals is more. The number of animals is more as compared with the plants. And in case of animals, in case of animals, the number of invertebrate is more. Invertebrates are more as compared with, yes, as compared with the vertebrates. So everyone clear with this point? As compared with the, all over the, uh, as we are considering the biodiversity, that means all the species of organisms we are considering, which contains plants as well as animals and other organisms are also there. Hmm? So in that, the number of animals are more as compared with the other one. Hmm? So as compared to the plant, generally, the animal's number is maximum. Number of animal species are more. Then the next one, in case of animals, maximum area is covered by insect. It is covered by, uh, sorry, uh, invertebrates. And among the invertebrates, maximum is covered by, maximum number of species are of insects. Clear to everyone? So don't confuse. So this pie chart are very clear. The first pie chart is of known species of organism. Second is of a known species of animals. And the third one is of a known species of plants. So related with the first one, when we are dealing with the organisms, the animal number is more than the plants, then the fungi, then protist, and then the eubacteria. Okay, this number. Then the next one is in case of animals. Related with the animals, the invertebrates are more. Invertebrates are more than the vertebrates Okay, then the vertebrates and other organisms have come in between this only. Hmm? So related with the, uh, related with the, we are dealing with the vertebrates. In vertebrates, F is for fish. The number of fish is maximum as compared with others. B for birds. It is for birds. Then reptiles. Then amphibians. And the last one is the mammals. 
so this is according to the sequence wise i have mentioned the large number is of fishes then the birds then the reptiles then amphibians then mammals here is the most threatened is the amphibians so everyone uh, will clear it and uh, keep in mind related with the amphibians amphibians has great threat to extinct in a animal kingdom clear so so according to ncrt the amphibians are has a great threat to extinct and according to state board also this question can be asked as in a single sentence or as a mcq most favorite question is that which has a great threat among the vertebrate that is the amphibians clear to everyone so then uh, related with the invertebrates when we are dealing with the invertebrates okay so related with the invertebrate it covers maximum the insects maximum area is covered by the insect then the molluscans molluscans then see for crustaceans insects everyone knows the insects then molluscans soft bodied animals then the crustaceans okay the example is a crab like okay uh, or prawns these are the crustaceans and others so this maximum area this maximum area is covered by yes invertebrates it is covered by invertebrates and among the invertebrates among the invertebrate this much area is covered by the insect only so you have studied in element the maximum in animal kingdom which is predominant uh, or which is uh, rather than predominant more diversity and as well as number of species occurred uh, uh, present are the are of insect these are of insect so and the remaining population is of other uh, invertebrates including the molluscans crustaceans and other right so the third pie chart is related with the known species of plants so related with this this pie chart especially showing that there are the maximum number is of dicot especially that dicot is a flowering plant so flowering uh, plants which are dicot are more in number this species number is more as you know as compared with the animal the number of plants is less one okay then number of species of plants okay are less then after this after the flowering uh, plants which are dicots then the flowering plants of, of monocots are come uh, after that okay which is followed by the mosses then the fern then the conifers so as you know uh, you have to remember the sequence of the species which are dominant or which number is dominant as compared with the others so in case of plants dicots flowering plants are maximum then the second one next to it comes a dicot sorry after two dicot monocot flowering plant then the mosses then the fern then the conifers are coming hmm? so this is related with this biodiversity a current scenario so related with the india when we are dealing with the india or considering our country india which contributes near about uh the contribution of india uh as we are considering land of india available land of india is near about 2.4% of whole world okay land of the world total world's um we are uh, we are occupying near about 2.4% land area which shares near about biodiversity how many we are sharing a biodiversity percentage of biodiversity what i am talking this is all related with the our country india available land 
compared with all the world, that is 2.4%. And we are, our contribution in a biodiversity is 8.1%. So because of that, and uh, we are contributing near about 22% of a natural wealth. Natural wealth. So everyone uh, must keep these figures in mind. The first one, total land available on uh, in, in India, that is 2.4%. Then biodiversity contribution on that land is about 8.1%. And total natural wealth contribution is about 22%. So first one is 2.1, land 2.1, biodiversity. 8.1 and 22% natural wealth. Okay, so this is all related with India, and because of that, so all over the world, near about 12 countries come under the mega diversity. Okay, so there are how many 12 countries which are showing a mega diversity. Mega diversity. So there are 12 countries which having a mega diversity, and India is one of it. And our India is one of it because its contribution in the natural wealth is 22%, available land is 2.1%, and the biodiversity is large one that is 8.1%. So this is all related with the current scenario uh, of bio biodiversity. As we have uh, just recall, the number of animal is more compared with the plants. In case of animals, the number of invertebrates is more as compared with the vertebrates. In case of invertebrate, max number, maximum number is of, yes, everyone, is of insects. Right, as well as uh, afterwards, we are dealing with the plants. Related with the plants, when we are dealing with the plants, the maximum number is of dicot flowering plant, which is followed by monocot flowering plant, then by the mosses, then by the fern, then by the conifers. So this is all related with the uh, uh, recent scenario uh, of a biodiversity. So, uh, which is explained by uh, according to the number of uh, species present in that particular area. So, this is all related with the pie, pie chart. Now, we are dealing with the next point. Moving further to the next point, it is loss of biodiversity. Sorry. This is a very important question, can be asked, okay. So, the loss of biodiversity means, especially which leads into the extinction of species. Okay, so especially here will be the what will be the result of the loss of biodiversity is the extinction. Extinction of species will occur. That means because of loss of biodiversity, the number of species get reduced day by day. Reduced day by day as we have studied uh, uh, two hypotheses in a last lecture that is rabbit, popper hypothesis and the production stability hypothesis, right? We have studied how the key species impacts and the ecosystem get collapsed, right? So extinction of species. Uh, so there are three types of extinction. 
the types of extension. In the, form, in the form of flowchart. The first one is a natural extension. Second one is a mass extension. And the third one is the man-made extension. This man-made extension is also called as anthropogenic extension. It is called as an anthropogenic extension. So what are the uh, 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 types of, which are the types of extension? The first one is a natural extension. Second one is a mass extension. And the third one is a man-made man extension called as anthropogenic extension. So we will deal related with the first natural extension. The extension occur by naturally, occur by naturally. There is no role of any human interference. And this is totally occurred because of natural calamities. So there are so many reasons of that. And these are the first one is a forest fire. Second one is a volcanic eruption. And the third one is the earthquake. So these are the three reasons by which the biodiversity can be lost. Because of natural calamities occurs, the fire, uh, for, uh, forest fire occurs, as you have seen in a Amazon forest. Okay. Uh, natural extinction occurs because of that. So many species get um, affected. Then volcanic eruption occur. Okay, volcanic eruption uh, because of the, such a volcanic eruptions. As you know that uh, the so many eras of evolution during that the volcanic uh, because of volcanic eruption the whatever the biodiversity in that particular era get dumped under that. Uh, you know, lava right then the next one uh, related with the uh, sorry related with the earth uh, earthquake and volcanic eruption these are the uh, three uh, causes of natural extinction now the next one is the man made extinctions or the uh, second one is a mass extinction we will deal with the mass extinction afterwards first of all we will be related with the uh, man-made extinction, first one, man-made extinction. Man-made extinction is also, also called as, yes, everyone, anthropology. Anthropo, uh, sorry, anthropogenic, not me, anthropogenic extinction. So what are the reasons of that anthropogenic extinctions? So uh, uh, so many reasons are that the first one is the habitat destruction. I will explain it afterwards. We will just enlist first. The first one is the habitat destruction, then hunting. Then over exploitation, then reclamation, reclamation, then pollution, overpopulation of human. Overpopulation of human, then intensive agriculture,
than deforestation. So major impact on a biodiversity occurs because of man-made activities. Okay, we are deriving benefit from the natural resources, but uh, human has a natural tendency to derive a benefit which is maximum. Okay, which is maximum. We are deriving maximum benefit from the biodiversity more than our need. Okay, more than our need. Then the first one, habitat destruction. As you know, we are destroying the natural habitat. Human is destroying the natural habitat as, um, for example, suppose this is the area. Okay, this is the particular area. There are so many species, so many different animals are living in that ecosystem, right? Okay, which is totally uh, away from the human population. But as you wish, uh, uh, as our activities increases, we are human introduction occurs to this ecosystem. At that time, we are just cutting the forest. We are cutting the forest. Then uh, that means the deforestation of the then the deforestation of the for our uh, living purpose we are just cutting the forest for even though so many activities like luxurious life to obtain a luxurious life for uh, furniture also uh, as well as so many uh, like uh, cooking process and all that requires food for that the uh, over uh, so many of uh, the plants get cut out and that is the deforestation so we are just removing the cover we are just removing the cover and uh, cultivating uh, cultivating or just uh, intensive agriculture we are also doing in that area right intensive agriculture by just cutting the trees and uh, uh, example is the amazon rainforest uh, and where the soybean cultivation occurs nowadays um, the trees are cut and uh, the land is uh, uh, available for the forestry uh, for the agriculture purpose uh, then the next one just we are disturbing the natural habitat we are disturbing the natural habitat and now uh, we are just occupying the maximum area of that ecosystem by disturbing this Sometimes we are just uh, removing all the, uh, the spe species totally. We are removing the species totally from that ecosystem. Great threat from the human to other animals. Then hunting. Not only the hunting, the overhunting. Overhunting is done by the human. And we are killing the animals, okay? For our eating purpose, as well as for uh, just to show we are brave. Uh, in ancient time, uh, the kings were killing the animals like tiger and lions, and the number of species get reduced. Then over exploitation. Okay, as you know, over exploitation. Best example of over exploitation is the fishing. Is the fishing uh, more than our need? We are just capturing the fishes. That is the over exploitation. Then reclamation. Reclamation means, for example, the Bandra reclamation is the best example of that. In a reclamation, we are just doing what the whatever the uh, sea area. Uh, we are just uh, adding soil in that and uh, uh, just uh, big buildings as well as the um, areas are covered the sea areas are covered by the land just it is called as a reclamation and the best example is a bandra reclamation then the next one is the pollution as you know uh, majorly nowadays the pollution increases and because of that uh, most of the species get harmed and they get extinct also uh, 
then overpopulation of human as i have said earlier we are just uh, increasing uh, beyond the bearing capacity of the earth nowadays okay beyond the natural uh, biotic potential of the earth uh, having bearing capacity is over for the human and uh, because of that we are occupying the area the natural habitat is disturbed for uh, because of the human introduction right then intensive agriculture i have already stated and next one is a deforestation so these are the man made activities which are affecting a lot than the natural calamity right natural calamities occurs to maintain a balance okay basically it occurs because of to maintaining a balance of a ecosystem that is the nature's rule hmm? and as you have seen because of the natural calamities most of the species as well as human population also get affected get died okay so the next one is a major four causes of loss of biodiversity now we are turning towards the major four causes of biodiversity can be asked for three marks question it is also called as the evil quarter the evil quarter it is called as a evil quarter so which are they the first one is habitat loss and fragmentation second one i will explain it further on the second one is over exploitation then the third one is alien species invasion and the fourth one is the co extinctions so the massive destruction occurs and uh, up to the five massive destructions occurs and this running uh, uh, destruction is the sixth sixth massive destruction which is more faster as compared with the previous one it is more faster than the previous one so the first one uh, we will deal with the habitat destruction Uh, habitat loss and fragmentation as earlier stated that as there is the introduction of a human human is occupying more and more area and uh, just uh, we are uh, for example if at first time we are introduced at this site we are introduced at this site hmm? we are not confirmed to this site remain confirmed to this site only we are just uh, going to all the side also and occupying that area another one likewise now the cities are urban area uh, urbanization is moving towards the villages that is the best example of habitat loss as uh, in a habitat loss especially uh, now the uh, civilization occurs as well as the uh, road windings and uh, new road formation uh, railways are going uh, then uh, especially the uh, for the uh, aeroplanes also okay so we are disturbing the natural habitat occupying that natural habitat and making fragments of that if the road line is goes from this 
okay if the road line is goes from this it is just disturbing this natural habitat and making the fragments of that okay as well as uh, the road line railway line also goes which makes the fragment of that um, biodiversity and this is the major threat of the natural ecosystem this is the major threat of the natural ecosystem as you know that the kokan railway the kokan railway is uh, just disturbing the natural ecosystem as there is a introduction of human there is a desert that is the same right so uh, we are just disturbing the uh, habitat losses of this the natural habitat of the animals get lost because of human activities mm, uh, in which the if another new species also when the new species is also introduced in this area for example at very first time when the eucalyptus tree is introduced in india at that time uh, it is just uh, it is just uh, disturbing the natural habitat of the other uh, local species hmm? um, and making uh, local species get disturbed that is a uh, habitat loss and fragmentation the best example is human introduction to that particular ecosystem making the fragments uh, whatever the activities road line and railway lines are also making uh, Um, the fragmentation of that particular ecosystem then the next one is over exploitation over exploitation means human has a natural tendency to accumulate more beyond its limit we have a natural accumulation that means i want this also and uh, uh, if i gain that particular amount of uh, material of i have occupied uh, near about 1 acre area but what ha i have agreed that i want more land that is our beyond our need we require uh, that is our natural tendency humans natural tendency is to accumulate more beyond its limit hmm? or need beyond its need right which results in over exploitation of the resources which results in over exploitation of the resources uh and which results in uh, for example dearth of fish i will explain here so the related with of over exploitation beyond the need uh the result into the over exploitation of resources the first example is a dearth of fish as we are catching maximum number of species more than our need then dodo bird the second one is a dodo bird which is extinct which is on the way or which get extinct hmm? then uh, stellar sea cow stellar sea cow is the another example then passenger pigeon is the another example passenger pigeon okay so these are the examples of over exploitation human has a natural tendency okay human has a natural tendency to accumulate more beyond its need and because of that the of fish shoggers dodo bird Uh, uh birds the birds take over exploitation of the stellar sea cow passenger pigeon uh, these are hunted these are just a hunting done by the human and because of that the loss of these species occurs then introduction of alien species okay so that means the introduction of alien species means invasion invasion of alien species new species is introduced in that particular area as i have earlier stated a plant species that means the eucalyptus is introduced into the land which is disturbing or the or taking the resources uh, from that land uh and uh, because of that uh, it harms more than the other natural species also the examples of this is carrot grass everyone knows the carrot grass then the uh, lantana then the water hyacinth is the example 
uh, that means uh, Ecornia, then predator fish, as well as in India, uh, African catfish is introduced, which is just minimizing the uh, Indian catfish -ish. and nowadays Indian fish -ish, Indian catfish -ish number is reduced one. So this is the, uh, uh, these are the examples of alien species invasion. The last point from this topic point is the coexistence. Okay, so related with the coexistence, organisms are associated with each other uh, in obligatory ways. Organisms are associated with each other with uh, in a obligatory ways. But related to that, the best example of this is the extinction of host fish causes extinction of unique parasites. Okay, that means uh, if its hosts get extinct, the it, uh, the parasite also get extinct because of that. That is the co -ex extinction. Okay, so this is all related with the loss of biodiversity and major causes of biodiversity, the evil quarter. The question can be asked on this topic. Thank you.